What can I do for you? I want to build a house. These are some of the vacant sites that you have. You see, if you lend me the money and let me use a the site, then I could have that built for me and my kids. I'm really sorry. I can't help you with this. We can't go on like this. Just keep telling yourself, it's temporary. Sorry, guys. <sighs> Late three times and you got your kids here. John, please, we need this job. What are we doing, Sandra? Do you think this is good for the girls? I'm saying it, counsellor. We could try and make it work. I want to fix him, you know? I know. But there are some people you just can't. I have designed a house that costs just 35,000 euros to build. Sandra, why didn't you ask me? Your mother was far more than a cleaner to me. She was a friend. It's land going to waste. Use it. Build a house for you and your girls. Hi, my name's Amy Cassandra Martinez with Hollywood First Look Features. And today I'm chatting with Claire Dunn, who co-wrote the film and plays Sandra, and Harriet Walter, who plays Peggy. This is an unbelievably empowering film, so we had to take it back to where it all started. Claire, I know the genesis of this film was back in February 2014. Uh, what was it like for you to see this come to fruition? Well, it was one of the biggest journeys of my life and I'll never forget it. <laughs> and just seeing the production offices being set up, just seeing people come together and talk about this thing that's gonna happen was already fascinating. And then obviously seeing the building of the house in the back garden of the lovely family that gave us their home and land to build on. And um, I just, I love the kindness of people in Dublin to give us locations and stuff like that, like difficult locations where we're gonna have to build a bloody house. And um, I just felt like the, the film and the house started to be, uh, become one, like Sandra's story and my story of building it. It was like, I was learning about the importance of community and how kind people can be. It was absolutely amazing. It was amazing. And then the finale moment, well, two finale moments of just kind of seeing the film shown to audiences in Sundance and Dublin was probably, they are just the top nights of my life. Yeah, so when Claire first showed me the screenplay, we were working together in the theatre, we were in an all-female collective, very preoccupied by domestic violence against women because we were working in women's prisons in the UK. Um, and she showed me this and I was, thinking about doing another movie at the time. And but I was immediately struck by, my God, this is her first screenplay. Um, it's, the writing is so fresh and original and it felt like she really knew who this character was. Gradually, as I got more and more, oh, would you read another draft and have a look at this? Um, I heard somebody say, who just read the script, they were like, Claire, because at that time, Claire wasn't going to play the lead. She'd written herself a small little sister character. She was just thinking, I need this story to get out there. I don't need to be playing the, being the star. I'll just be in it. And, you know, we'll, we may need, you know, a star to play the lead to get it financed. And someone was saying, oh, Claire has written a role for a great, great leading movie actress. And I was like, yeah, yeah, her, self, not, not the other, some other actress. She's got to play this part. And I just thought at that moment, I'm going to do this because if I do it, I'm going to make damn sure she does get to play it. And so that's how we went to the next stage of the journey. Harriet, at what point did you decide, okay, no, I absolutely have to be a part of this film. And what was it about this role that made you want to be a part of it? Oh, so many things. It was mainly the project because in a funny way, I feel um, there's a parallel between Peggy and Sandra and me and Claire in that you want someone to fulfill for themselves what you didn't quite make. And as, as sort of cherry on the cake, there was a role for an older woman in it. Uh, it was a no-brainer, you know, from is it? And, and then it turned into um, the sort of role that, I, that I'm really grateful to have, which is that you know, here's an older woman who develops, you know, so many scripts have an older character who just carries on being grumpy, you know, um, whereas this this character heals, grows, 
changes and sees something of her own uh, metal being played out by by this uh, um, almost protege. Who is a woman that empowers you and makes you feel like you can do anything? Oh, well, Harriet, for a start, and Phyllida. Harriet was the first, and um, her book was the first book I ever read about acting. It was the first time I ever went, I think I could do that, actually. I think I could be an actress because of the way she goes on about it. <laughs> um, and I would say, uh, yeah, I just think, God, there's so many great women out there. That's really hard to pinpoint. But for me, the women closest to me, yeah, Harriet and Phyllida. Maybe my own nanny. <laughs> I feel like with every single project, there's something that can be learned, a lesson or something um, bigger. Um, what was it that this film taught you, either professionally or personally? Well, I mean, I think what's been incredible about it is that we made it before the pandemic struck. And as we got it in the can, took it to Sundance, we're suddenly like, the pandemic happens, we're all locked down and we're all thinking, Am I a good neighbour? Who are my neighbours? Is there a woman in an apartment up there who seems to be struggling or was that a bruise on her face or should I knock on the door? Or We're all like suddenly put on the spot as citizens. Who are we and who are we prepared to reach out to? And so everything about the experience of making the film, its themes of isolation and community suddenly seem like, oh my God, okay, th this really is hopefully going to speak to people who are going through this, whether it's, you know, those of us who are lucky enough to feel safe in our homes or those of us who feel fragile in our homes. It feels like there's something here that could be shared with most people. Definitely, and thank you. Thank you so much for doing such a great job with this. It's been an honor speaking with you. Thank you, Amy. Herself is in theaters. We're available on December 30th and will be streaming on Prime January 8th. My name is Amy Cassiano Martinez and you've been watching Hollywood First Look Features. Sandra, oh my God. Parties work. Are you going to see your dad? She's not herself. She wants to stay with me. You are lying to me, Sandra. Skelly, you've been served. Breach of access. I'm sorry, love, but legally he has a right to go to court. What is the point of a house if I have no kids to put in it? Most of us get so sunk in our own pain, we don't notice our children's. But you did, and that makes you a good mother. This time I know I'm fighting. You all know what he did to me. And yet you still bring me in here and you ask me questions like why didn't you leave him? But you never ask why didn't he stop? 